Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to, uh, I was going to say Gold Rush, this isn't Gold Rush, this is Estancia Lapacho. And we are continuing on from where we left off yesterday, except that we didn't leave off yesterday, did we? We, we, we kind of, um, everything went horribly, horribly wrong and we crashed and yeah, it wasn't good. So we, I've gotten it back to roughly where we were and I've done, made a couple of slight changes. Now it happened after I did two things. I got the corn header for the John Deere on here and I noticed that one was being a little bit peculiar. So I've actually changed, if I just go quickly through to the John Deere, that one's actually finished this field. We'll go back to that in a second. Uh, we've got the John Deere... Come on, John Deere. Right, I've got the John Deere up here, and this one is full. I'm just waiting on the trailer. We've got to get that one up here very shortly. But you will notice that we now have the Capello um, corn header, because I noticed that the corn header was being a little bit peculiar with the John Deere, and it looked a little bit odd on there. So what I did was I sold the header back, just in case. I'm, I'm not certain if it was that, but I did sell it back just in case, which was that one there. And in its place, I have bought, uh, is it this one? No, it's not that one. See, that one there, actually, the one there that is designed for the CR1090, that is actually the same size as the one that I took off. But I, did, I didn't I did go for that one. I actually went for this one here, a size smaller. So I've got a stand game one. 9 meters instead of 12 meters, which is what the John Deere one was. Um, and so we bought this one instead. Now, this was $40,000. I did also color it to green, just to be the same. Um, just to be on the safe side. I thought, well, I, rather than sort of running some serious risks, and it seemed okay. One other thing I did was I went to... I'm just going to bring this one... Oh, actually, no, I'm not going to work on that one just yet. I want to go to... Uh, no, actually, we'll go to this one a second, and we're going to put this one going on another field. Um, before I go any further, though, my weekly question. When we have finished doing the sugar cane on field two, what do you want me to do with field two? Do you want me to plough it up and replant the sugar cane because you get the extra 10% ploughed bonus? Or do you want me to just leave it? If you just leave it, it will grow again. You don't need to replant it if you leave it. However, if you plough it, it does remove all the sugar cane is there and you do then have to replant it so we can either just leave it let it grow we'll fertilize it obviously as as it grows um or we can plow it up and then replant it which should give us a chance to look at the planters that sort of thing um so which do you want me to do it's your vote it's your game head into the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in at the top right hand corner do you want me to plow it up and replant it or do you want me to just leave it and get on with something else right that's that bit. Uh, we've got... I'm not going to do field six just yet because it's going to sort of be in the way a little bit. So we've got these three fields up here. I'm going to take care of those up there for now. Um, I'll bring this one on round. So we've got that field done there. I also had the thing that eliminated the tabbing between vehicles. You went to that vehicle, you um, press control T, and it eliminate, it removed that one from the tab cycle. Seemed like an excellent idea. However, I did notice that when I was driving past some of those vehicles um, while I was redoing the work that we lost, um, that it was getting, it was, it seemed like really, really laggy and it seemed to be glitching quite a lot. And I did notice then, I sort of looked back and it was as we were going past um, one of the vehicles that I tabbed that we had like a bit of a glitch and then another one that I eliminated from the tab when the game crashed completely. So it's very likely that that one con conflicted with another mod that I had. It was when we were driving past this one here. We were about here. So we were pretty close to that one and that one had been excluded from the tab cycle. So for that reason, I've removed that one and we'll see what happens. It didn't while I was messing around. I've also gone and gotten the Merlot up here with a bucket and I was picking this up. But if you notice in the cows, because we've stuffed them full before we started, they can't currently take any grass at the moment. We got the animal table manners working on that and hopefully it will be okay. Um, I don't think it was anything to do with the table manners mod. Um, I don't think it was. Right, that one's just sitting there for a minute. And the next job that I want to do is I want to come over to... Where is it? It's this one. I'm going to take this one and we're going to go over to the other wheat field and we're going to start over there. I have a plan. Oh, and the other thing... Let me just start that one first. The other thing for today is I have gotten one of the star attractors and I have placed it on here. I have leased this 
harvester here, this um, sugarcane harvester. And I was just trialing something that somebody suggested to me. And I, I didn't actually sort of think about it until after when, you know, we, we've been having all this trouble trying to get the harvester to work. Um, because the, the big harvester looks great and all, but we're having trouble with it. So I went and got this one. And surprise, surprise, I should have listened. You know, I, I didn't listen properly and I should have done this. It's essentially what's happened. Because if I do this... Now, we do have to have the crop destruction turned off, I believe. I mean, it might work with the crop destruction turned on with this one, but I'm not quite sure. Um, why have you stopped? It might be the combine down there. He just turned that one off a minute, and... Oh, he's, he's now folding himself up. I don't want him to fold himself up. I want to go like that. And if I start it myself manually, just a moment, and I come up here like this, hopefully it will then do it. I press H... There we go. And it carries on around the field. The best thing about this is that when it gets up to the corner, it just drives around in a big circle, in a loop, and it carries right on again. Um, even if it's got to do a couple of loops to get around the corner in the right manner. Um, so what we can do is we can just leave this one going. We can use the small, older sugarcane harvester and we can just leave it going. All we've got to do is re is empty out the trailer once this one is full. So we're just going to leave that one going for a minute. And which leaves brings me to this one. I'm actually seriously considering taking this one back to the shop and selling this one. We'll keep one of them. We'll sell the second one. And we'll... Um, I know that I'm leasing the old one at the moment. I might actually buy that one properly. So... Next task we're going to do is we're going to get this combine over to the wheat field and we're going to get this one started. And then once this one has started, there's something else that I want to show you that I managed to get working yesterday while I was testing everything out. And I'm really, really pleased with it. It worked really, really well. Like, it actually properly worked. And I was amazed. I was gobsmacked. I thought it was awesome. And it's so much easier than I thought it might be. So let me just get this one up to the top and start it combining and then we'll see what we can do. The only other possibility that caused the crash was something to do with the AI extension and a position on this field. Because we just put this one going when it crashed. And it, But I'm thinking it was more likely a conflict with the tabbing thing and the AI thing all sort of working in together. So I'm kind of hoping that that's the case. Let me just go... Yeah, nope, wrong way. Tell you what, I want to go this way. I do. I, I did like that tabbing thing. It meant we didn't have to tab through quite so much stuff. But this one is now working. You can see up there from the tracks that it has just done a loop. Uh, and let me go and get the other tractor. We want to get this one. And we can bring this one up. And you can see it doing its loop in just a moment. We'll bring this one up over here. And you'll be able to watch the... Sugarcane Harvester do its loop now. And then all we got to do is just take take that one once it's full and drive it to the lorry, that the truck that is waiting to unload. And then it comes out to the end. It lifts up out of the cut and it drives round in a loop. And it will just keep going. That is just going to keep going forever. It's brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, this bit you may not like because we're having to drive on the field. But it's definitely worth it. So come on to the field. I need to be actually in the field with the combine for this, just to start with. And uh, actually, it might be better if I go up. If I go up to the other end, I've already got some space up there that I can use. And I mean, it is a little bit of a nuisance that it's coming all the way up there. Maybe it, I don't. I don't actually know if it will work with me being on the crop itself. Um, it might do. Uh, yes, you've probably guessed it. I am actually going to try to set up a course play course. And we're going to see if we can actually do this. I've got to be inside the field for this to work. So if I come down to this point here, and then I right-click, and I go to uh, Overloader, Empty Combine, and Offload a Trailer. And then uh, you've got this one here, Combi, Empty Combine, and Offload. That's what I want there. I want that one right there. And then I go start course recording and we just drive from here and I wait until I've gotten a couple of spots sort of put, turn up above the tractor like that and 
actually going to go out here now. I'm going to go past the combine. I'm going to ignore the combine because I can sort of come out round this way like this. So just go around there. And I will drive down through here. We go all the way over to the silo. All we're doing is we're just giving it a course. We don't need to do anything other than just give it a very basic course. Just lay it out on the ground. So I come round there. I don't know what happens if you drive over other tip triggers. So I'm not going to do that. I don't want to get involved with driving over other tip triggers. Um, I'm just going to sort of weave in and out and around like this. And come up over this one and... We go over this tip trigger. I don't need to do anything. I don't need to stop. I don't need to set it to tip or anything. All I've got to do is just drive over it. I'm deliberately driving around that one as well. And then I'm going to go back roughly the way I came. I'm just going to go straight up around here. And go back through. Up this way. And I need to go back into the field. And I don't know if it matters exactly where I go back into the field. I don't think it does. Um, I don't think you have to go back exactly to where the course started. But if I go to this point here, and I stop right there on the end, and then I go stop. And that's it. And then I can go drive course. Right, no combine in reach at the moment is what it's saying. And you've got some settings over here. Um, it will vertical offset. It starts at 50%. So when the combine reaches more than 50%, it will go after the combine unless the combine is not in reach. It's saying it's not in reach because the combine um, is currently outside of the field. And then it will go and empty out when it reaches 90%. So I can get rid of that one a minute. And then I can go up to the combine. We're just going to watch this combine a second. And we're going to see it get up to the... Well, we'll I'm going to let it get up to the top. And then once it turns and it goes back onto the field again, that tractor should come up and join us. We're up to the end of the field. The sugarcane tractor has stopped for some reason. I'll go back and take a look at that one in a minute. And now this one has come out over here. It's flashing. I'm hoping that if we've done this right, that tractor down there that we've got on course play will start up and it will make its way up across the field up here. I'm hoping that's the case. It may not. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like it's going to do it. It's going to go. Need to go through a lot of tractors here. I should have gone the other way. Right, so this one here, it's saying combine not in reach. It might actually be that I've not set this one up correctly. No combine in reach. Uh, maybe I haven't set this up correctly. That was how you're supposed to do it. You, you just, you'd start in the field, you go, and then it's job done. It might be that I need to set it up a little bit differently. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's start this one up, and if I go back to the settings here, and I will go stop driver, and I will do a new course in a minute. So I can start course at, I can drive course. I've got a temporary course there. Uh, how do I clear the course? You can save the current course. I'm just going to get rid of that. Start this tractor up, and I'm going to go up here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to empty out this combine, and I'm going to try this again once the combine has done maybe i'm just thinking maybe i need to do a little bit extra in the field or something like that or if i bring the tractor to this point maybe this will work it might just be still that it's too far away from the field so we'll just try it here a second and i'll go drive course still no combine in reach oh hang on drive behind combine it's doing it right so if it's stopped all the way down it might be that where it stops on the course that is too far away from it that might be the issue. But it's going to drive behind the combine now. It's going to come up here and it will actually do it this time. So it could have been too far away from it. Um, sort of not registering properly in the field. It'll come up here. And it'll turn round. And then it will unload the combine. And it will actually follow along beside the combine as well. But yeah, you can see right here that it's got to drive sort of right out on the edge of the field. And that might be what's doing it. Unless I didn't finish the course in the right place. I may have just not finished the course in the right place. So we're just going to watch this one. And you can see here it will drive next to the combine. It will drive alongside it. And it will do that bit just fine. And then once it's offloaded completely. It will um, park up and it will stop. And it will wait for the combine to fill back up again. And then it will go and get it. And when the trailer reaches 90% it should drive the course. And it should come back again. We will see in a minute 
We're just going to let this one carry on and work. I'm going to watch it unload now, and you'll see the tractor park up. Um, it does pay the workers on Courseplay like $1,800 an hour. So it does pay a ridiculous amount of money to the Courseplay workers. Right, waiting until position is free. So it's just going to wait now until... I'm not exactly sure what it's waiting for. Drive to waypoint. 40 minus 109. So it's driving... Waiting until fill level is reached. Ah. I'm not sure if maybe where I stopped it previously, that was like the wrong place to stop it. But it's gonna, it's just going to sit there and it's going to wait until this combine has filled back up again. So we're going to leave that one go there for a minute. And we're going to go now over to... Not that one. I want this one here. This one's... He started moving in a circle and then he went a little bit strange. So we're just going to correct it again. So that it can keep moving around in a circle. It should be okay. It's normally pretty good, this one. It is normally pretty good. I'm not really sure what it's done here. It's kind of... It looks like it's got a little bit confused just on this bit here. Oh, I see. There's a piece here that it's kind of got confused on. Um, but it should be pretty good for uh, working. When I was testing it, it was carrying on round the field without any problems at all. I mean, you did have it occasionally turn a peculiar loop that didn't really make any sense but generally speaking it was pretty good and right i don't know what it's doing now it's a, if i got it on the wrong setting no, that's on the right setting there if i go in here uh we'll increase the turn angle up to all the way up to 100 percent uh manual steering i don't know what the manual steering bit is feel a collision check off um okay let's go with that I'll do that. It might be that we just need to put it going with the standard hired help rather than doing it like this. Um, because it may have just encountered a slight issue that it doesn't really like um, that's really throwing it out. Because occasionally we do get this. Um, I mean, the sugar cane is new and some of this harvesting equipment is quite new as well. And I need to back that one round so that I can get that little chunk right there. I can't get it. There's one. Oh, there we go. I got it. One little tiny bit that I couldn't quite reach. Now if I press H, is it going to work again? Now it's, it's confused itself now. It was working really, really well. And now it's kind of just confused itself completely. Oh no, it, it's kind of doing it. It's cutting a little bit. You can't... It, yeah, you can just make out that it's getting some. But it's only got a one meter cutting width. So it may take a while to get itself sorted out. We'll let that one go. That one's going to go, and this one here, I, I'd like you to say in the comment section, would you like me to sell this one or not? Um, I'm thinking that if we can get that trailed one to work, so that we can automate our sugar cane just fine, we could get rid of this one. Um, this tractor is currently busy, and we've got that one. We've got a small tractor down here. Uh, we've got this tractor here that is still... Oh, it's on its way. The combine is just reached 50%, so the tractor goes straight to it. The unfortunate thing with course play is it does drive straight across the field. There's nothing you can do about that. And if we've got the combine moving round and round the field, then it's going to keep doing it like this. Um, it's just going to wait now until the combine has gone around the corner, and then it's going to go up beside it. Um, and then we've... The combine is working. So everything's going to be easy now for it to get to, but you do have the tractors driving through the crop. So there is that bit that goes against the using of the AI vehicle, uh, the course play. Um, we could just have the combine moving up and down the field. It might work like that. We could sort of test that one out. But he'll come up there and the combine will put the spout out and it will um, do everything it needs to do. So yeah, basically we need one more tractor because we want a trailer working on this one here. And I've used up my trailer... My other, well, I've used up my spare tractor on that harvester over there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the John Deere and we are manually going to take this. I'm going to just press H on there, let that one start up. I've got two tractors working away. Um, one over there and I've got one over there. And that one's doing some funny loops again. Um, the other tractor is just moving it's moving away out of the way and it's currently got 72 percent wheat in it so it's going to keep it's going to keep going back up across the field this one here we're just going to start driving it up and down 
beside the harvester just so that we can finish off this last little bit that we've got here um, that tractor has stopped again it was working so well I think we're gonna put the standard hired help going on that one and see how that does it I got a feeling though that with the standard hired help it will drive on the wrong side of the crop so it will actually drive inside the crop when it's going up across the field um, actually no when it's coming down across the field well depending which side it's on um, it's not gonna work very well let me just stop here a second and we'll let that one stay see he stopped again and he kind of he did a loop and he, he almost got ready and then he stopped again so the AI vehicle extension is good it does work it's just not quite what we want um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring this one over here like this and I'm gonna get it roughly lined up here because you can see now it's, it's sort of wiggled in and out quite an, aw an, an awful lot um, and if I go like that and I go to standard AI I think standard AI does actually work yes it does obviously it's it started it up um, however the unfortunate bit with the standard AI is that it will drive on the crop it's going to go right into the field now in order to be able to do it so we've either got to do the job ourselves or we've got to ignore it doing this and this is the bit that is really breaking the realism um it was working really well just going around in a loop around the outside of the field we'll have to try that again sometime um but it does come down it does at least line up and get it right even though the tractor is currently driving right inside the sugarcane it does harvest it okay so we we can we do have a harvester that is actually working even though it's missing a great big load of it at the moment. Um, going to turn around that way. It could, could do with turning the other way, really. It would be able to turn a bit sharper. And as usual, the hired help is trying to turn sharper than it's actually physically capable of doing. But it's lining up. There we go. We've got another one lined up. It's going to leave a, it's gonna leave a terrible mess here to start with. Eventually, it will sort of straighten up and get things right. So now it's coming up across. We've got a nice big chunk of sugar cane that it's cutting as it comes up across. It's leaving a little bit, but we can live with that. Is it going to go all the way up across? It might do, actually. Yes. It's going to go all the way up across, and it's cutting a nice full width. Well, it's cutting a full width this time because it's leaving, <laughs> leaving a huge, great big strip. And it really doesn't cut very much, does it? But it is cutting it. So... I'm I'm kind of happy with this. I'm, I, you know, it's it's not ideal. It, it really isn't ideal that it's driving in the crop. We got the trailer going in the crop and so on, but it's at least kind of working. So we can leave that one going. We could do we could do like two or three sort of systems like this where we, and we just have the standard hide help. The AI vehicle extension kind of worked for a little while and then it gave up on it. It didn't really like it. It was doing some very strange things. Um, and uh, now if we go back down to this one, he's coming round behind the combine once more. I'm going to go back to the John Deere in a minute and we can do a little bit more of that. And then once the John Deere has finished with the big sugarcane harvester on that little chunk that's left, we will then be able to use the John Deere to um, do another course play course with the John Deere combine. At least that's my plan. So this one will come up here and the spout comes out. If it will get it before the combine has reached the end of the row, we should be able to see this one run the course without us having to do anything. I just want to make sure that it's actually working. If it's working, if everything works okay with this, so then it will stop there and it should just, yeah, it's going to keep the combine. It's telling me to stop. This is brilliant. Fully automated. I mean, I know that some people didn't like this idea, but I've had far more requests for course play than I've had people saying um, they'd prefer me not to use it. So then it's going to come over here and drive to waypoint... I think now what it does is going to drive over to the waypoint that we started over on the field over there. Um, going to find it. Yep, it'll go straight across the field over to there. This is the downside of us using the AI vehicle extension and working around and around the field. Um, I could start the combine working just on one side of the field and remove, uh, you know, do the course out again so that it only goes to one side. And then I don't believe the tractor will run alongside the combine if the combine is in the crop if the spout is into the crop it won't actually do that so now we've got the beacon on it will now drive this course all the way round and it's going to go exactly where we drove previously so all we got to do is we just got to sit back and watch it 
But the great thing about this is that once we start doing the, you know, the combining is going, we can leave this now to just carry on. The combine will combine, the tractor will wait in a field, it will load up, it will get, get the wheat, and then it will drive it over to the silos and it will tip it into the silo without us having to get involved. Which means that basically we've got two workers working on the farm and doing what they're supposed to be doing. This one to come on round. And it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm, I feel really pleased that I managed to get... I mean, it's, it is really, really, really childishly simple to get this set up. But I still feel like some sort of awesome hacker having <laughs> finished it all. I mean, it's, it's just such a feeling of accomplishment. Look, it's done it. It's come over there. It's come to the tip trigger. And it's tipped it all out. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the people who actually wrote the code for this feel quite accomplished, but I, I feel, you know, that I've accomplished something really serious and major with my life by actually just managing to get the course play to work after having watched a couple of um, tutorials on it. Um, RD, is it RD Allen? I think it's RD Allen. Uh, he does loads of course play tutorials. If you want to know anything about how to get course play to work, it's him. He is, the, I think, I'm sure it's RD Allen. Um, I'll, I'll uh, try to find out for next week um, just so that I get the right guy because he is, he's easily the best um, course play tutorial writer that I have seen anything anywhere for, for anything um, it is, he's just brilliant he is the one that you want to see for course play tutorials I'm hoping that I'm not actually in the way of the combine here I don't think I will be we'll just make sure that that one's going to be okay but we've seen this one run the course, and now that he's in the field again, she actually, it is a she, um, now that she is in the field again, yeah, we're not in the way of the combine, I don't think, um, we've got no problems at all, that, yep, the combine will carry on over there, and then once the combine reaches 50%, this tractor should follow along, it should, like, turn itself round and go after the combine. So what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to go back over this way to the John Deere and and he started up we are just going to work our way up across the field this is only going to be a few passes just to finish this bit with the combine and then the other one over there is actually full so we need to go and empty that one out in a minute I'm not going to empty that one yet I want to get this bit done I at least want to get half of my sugarcane field finished today that is that is my one target is to get at least half of this done so well, it's going to be more than half because we did do several rounds around the outside first. But I just come up here and I move around in a great big loop like this while that one sort of spins around on the spot. The hired help does act a little bit strange when it's doing its turning. Um, but it eventually straightens out. I think we've only got like three passes left on this. So let me just fill this trailer up a minute and then uh, we can empty it out. I think we should also get all of this into that truck over there the last row down across the field and my course is actually wrong where the tractor is down there it can't recognize the combine the combine is currently 90 percent and the tractor still hasn't moved the tractor should have gone chasing off after the combine at 50 percent so i ended the course in the wrong place i started it okay everything else worked all right it's just i finished the course in the wrong place i think i should have gone closer to my start point so I'm going to have to redo that course. I'm not actually going to worry about it today because we're nearly at the end of the episode. Um, so in next week, uh, we will start off by doing that course. And then you can save those courses so that you don't need to worry about them ever again. That's it then. It's done. Right. That one has now finished. I've completely harvested part of the field. Just part of it. And the other tractor over there has actually got a full trailer, so we're, that one's going to be able to go in, uh, go very soon as well. So what I'd like to do next week is we've got the com we've got the John Deere combine over there. I'm not actually using it at the moment, but we will be. And I've got the Bison combine over there. We'll redo the course over there for the massive Ferguson tractor, and then the two small ones they can keep working on the wheat and everything over there. Um, and yeah, we'll just have to redo the course so that we get it right. Then we will put possibly this tractor or one of the Star ones. Actually, I'd, I'd like to put this tractor on it. Put this tractor on that red trailer down there, and we'll run another course for course play over to the John Deere Combine up there. And then hopefully the two trailers will just be able to run around the map doing their stuff, do, doing their thing, and we won't need to interfere with them. So we can keep the sugar cane going down here. This is going to be running on the standard hired help. 
Um, we also, I want your opinions today. Do you think I should sell the second large harvester? Um, because, you know, we can use standard hired help to do the sugar cane harvesting. We have now proved that that works and it seems to work okay. I'd like to be able to use the AI vehicle extension to do it. It kind of does it a little bit, but it's not great. So maybe next time we do some. Um, but right now, this one has finished. And you can see it is cutting a slice. So we, we do have this available. If I take that off of there, and if I fold this one up, then I don't need to unhitch. I can just leave this one on, I can bring it round, and I should, I'm hoping, be able to tip that trailer straight into the other trailer. I'm hoping this will work. I don't want to have to keep unhitching trailers. That's my biggest concern with this. But I think if I go right up tight like that, I mean, I could just put one of these massive great big trailers. A lot of people have said, oh, we just stick one of those huge great big trailers on it. And yeah, that does actually work. You just ignore the spout for a minute. And I know that this is breaking realism. This is absolutely breaking realism. But this is something that I feel that we can get away with. We can sort of overlook the fact that we're doing this. Um, I'll lower that one back down there. But yeah, I know people have said they get one of those great big sugarcane trailers there, that random, and they stick that on the back of the little one. Um, and they tow that around the field. And that works really well. So I'm sure that does. But I feel, for me, that is breaking the realism just a little bit too much. Um, there are various different trailers that we could do that with if we wanted to. And maybe we will try it. I'm just going to start this one up and manually do a little bit up across here myself um, until we get back to where the tractor was just now. I don't actually remember where it was. Oh, it's, it's right down near the other end. So we want to just run up through here. I do like this setup. Um, it does actually work. And... It's something that we can just leave to carry on by itself. And that is the sort of, for me, that's kind of the most important bit, is the fact that we can just leave it to do it by itself. We don't need to nurse it through. Um, whereas the bigger harvester, it does do it a little bit quicker. There's no denying that. But we have had to be nursing it an awful lot. And I don't want to be nursing stuff. This is kind of, like we've said before, and a lot of you have said that you'd like me to keep trying to do it like this, we want to be farm management here as much as, you know, operating each of the individual machines. We also want to be managing the farm as a whole. So that's kind of my plan here. That's, that's what I'm aiming for is managing the farm. So this one here, should I sell it or should I keep it in the hope that we can set up a course play course using two big, tra um, big harvesters? I'm still doing this up here. We're going to be planting a load next week. We're going to be doing some planting. We probably won't be doing sugar cane planting just yet. This one, that's not working, is it? So we're just going to leave that one. If I right-click there and I say, if I go drive now, now I think it's too far away from the last point, so I'll just stop driver and we'll cancel that one so we won't worry about it. Um, we will also stop that one a minute. And the last thing I... Because we haven't come up to that John Deere. We will get to that John Deere, but we haven't come up to it yet. This one here, I'm going to go... We're going to take this one out and we're going to empty it. So my question for this week... This field that we're in right now, when we finish doing the harvest eventually, we will get there eventually, once we finish doing the harvest in here, what would you like me to do with the field? Would you like me to just leave it and let it grow back again? We will fertilize it, but we won't do anything else to it. Um, with sugarcane, you don't need to replant it every season. You can just leave it and let it grow. But we don't have the 10% plowed bonus on that field at the moment which means we're losing 10% yield. So what we could do is we could plow up the field, gain that 10% bonus, and we would actually just use the cultivator that we've been using up there um, and deep cultivate it. Um, that would give us the plowed bonus on the field, but when you plow the field, you then have to replant sugarcane. So do you want me to plow the field up and replant the sugarcane, or do you want me to just leave it and we'll do some fertilizer and then maybe later on in the series we'll harvest some more sugarcane depending on how easily we can automate it. We've spent two weeks with sugarcane sort of being our main priority. Um, so I'm well aware that most of you are probably fed up to the back teeth with sugarcane right now. So you're not going to want me to do a load more just yet. So it'll be much later in the series that we do it. So it's your vote. 
is your game, head in the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why, and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Do we plough the field up and replant it, or do we just leave it alone and get on with something else? I'm just going to tip this bit out here. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I will just let you see me tip everything out because I know that many of you really hate it when I cut just when I'm doing something like this. So we'll tip this bit in as well. There we go. And that's about it. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.